All right, so welcome back to another video. As always, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hope everybody's doing good out there. And today we got some important stuff to talk about. Now, we got some news about Lonzo Ball and Chicago Bulls that I really want to dig into. So let's go ahead and hop straight into it. And I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, reports came out that Lonzo Ball may miss the whole season due to his knee injury. Now, we all know the Chicago Bulls last year were one of the teams that really surprised a lot of people especially you know with DeMar DeRozan playing so well Alice Caruso and just the whole team in general that by the end of like mid-season they were one of the best teams in the league and that was mostly due to DeMar DeRozan and other defensive prowess and effort from Lonzo Ball and Alice Caruso then we saw when they both went down that the defense fell off and Chicago Bulls fell from the one seed you know they fell down in the rankings so this came not as a surprise because we knew Lonzo Ball was dealing with an injury but we thought everything was just fine come to find out Lonzo Ball said this is probably like he doesn't understand what's going on not even the doctors he said he can't run he can't jump he said it's real hard for him right now and that I'm like, that's not good if you're a Chicago Bulls fan right now you're probably this is sad you're probably feeling down right now because that's not good hearing from your star uh point guard going into the season and training camp is just right around the corner and preseason and all that and he potentially won't be able to play the entire season so let's come here and check out this article and first of all uh let's get out of the way prayers for lonzo ball hope whatever the new one with his knee hope he gets over it because you want to see lonzo ball do good i don't think you can really hate on lonzo ball but here's the article by bleacher report i know i spoke long enough but it says bulls billy donovan thinks you have to consider the chance lonzo ball will miss the season now that's something you don't want to hear as a, as a bulls fan again hope lonzo gets well pretty soon but let's go ahead and see what they got to say the 2022-23 nba season hasn't even started yet and chicago bulls could already be facing tremendous blow head coach billy donovan was asked if he has to prepare for lonzo ball potentially missing the entire campaign and told reports i think you have to now that was the thing it's kind of it's like we knew with this lonzo ball injury that like he was going to miss a significant amount of time but we thought everything was just fine and like you could kind of show well you like it's like you kind of know that the bulls were kind of planning for this that's why they go ahead and pick up goran Draji. now i'm not saying goran Draji like like this is not all-star goran Draji, but he's still a very good backup point guard he gets the job done and you i guess with this now like, like you hope alex caruso can continue to play well and you hope ayo the sumo steps up in year two but it's like they were kind of planning for this as they knew that this might happen so ball is set to undergo surgery on his knee and spoke to reporters tuesday saying i can't play basketball i can't run or jump that was the quote that i seen and that is that's scary as a basketball player that is tremendously scary i know bulls fans right now are probably panicking notably the point guard also said even though he has plans to take his time with rehab the missing entire season is not in my mind right now that would be the worst case scenario yeah so uh, let's hope that doesn't happen but no, uh, nowadays with like modern medicine and rehab, uh, hopefully doctors can figure this out and he should be able to be back. Well, I, I'm, I'm not no doctor. I'm not saying, but like, I think he might be able to come back. You just never know. Uh, like he said, missing the whole season is the worst case scenario for him. So even Lonzo Ball believed that he could probably come back uh, during the season. But we just, you never know. Uh, James Collier of ESPN noted Ball attempted to rehab his knee and sought out multiple opinions during the offseason with the hope he could avoid what would be the third surgery of his career. Yet he still feels pain in everyday movements such as walking upstairs. So he will have anthroscopic knee surgery on Wednesday. So if he's having pain walking upstairs, then that means there's something really wrong. And I think he said himself that like even the doctors don't really know what was going on with his knee. And and like if the doctors don't know, that that's really concerning. Uh, but yeah, from my understanding, they're going, they're going in there to see what it is. Ball said because it's not necessarily showing up on the MRI, but it's clear that there's something there that's not right. So they're going to go in, look at it, and whatever needs to be done is going to be done. Let's hope uh, it doesn't take him out the whole season. Last season, Ball's first with the Bulls, and he appeared in just 35 games and underwent anthroscopic surgery on his knee. Now, like those 35 games, the Chicago Bulls were one of the best defenses in the league, and they were the number one team in the East. And that was due to Lonzo Ball stepping in on defense. Lonzo Ball's always been a good defender. Everybody knows that. Good playmaker. 
and he was one of the reasons why the Bulls were one of the top seeded teams. What well, was was the top seeded team before the All Star break last season? What else there? In his last game on January fourteenth, the team ended any hopes of a return in the playoffs when it was announced. It shut him down in April because he continues to experience pain and high level with high level physical activity. Chicago fell in the Eastern Conference standing without a presence on the floor and ended up losing in the first round to Milwaukee Bucks as number six seed as a result. Ball averaged 13 points per game, five rebounds, five assists, two steals per game while shooting 42% from three from deep prior to the injury. The Bulls have some depth in the backcourt with Kobe White, Alex Caruso, Goran Dragic, Ayo Sumer, Rookie Dalen Terry, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRose can also lead offensive effort from the wing. Still, there's a ceiling. Their ceiling is much higher with Lonzo Ball. By far, their ceiling is much higher with Lonzo Ball. Honestly, I don't think Kobe White's going to be there by the trade deadline. I think he's going to get traded up out of there. Alex Caruso is going to do Alex Caruso things. He's going to be good for you. Hopefully, Goran Dragic can come in and uh, continue to uh, fill up those minutes now that Lonzo Ball is probably going to be going. And Ayo Sumo, he looked really good in his rookie year, so hopefully he takes another step. I'm sure the Bulls are really counting on that. And then Dalen Terry, I think he, I think Dalen Terry is going to be a stud. I think he's going to be a stud for the Chicago Bulls. And, yeah, man, so just shout out Alonzo Ball. Uh, hope everything figures out. Now, like, Bulls fans, like I, I'm not going to say don't panic. But, like, you're probably, I would say, like, you're probably anxious right now because, like, you're missing your star point guard and, and like, that's not good. But I just hope things get better for Lonzo Ball. Bulls fans, let me know how y'all feeling with y'all emotions down in the comment. What are y'all thinking? Uh, like, what y'all think y'all team going to be uh, ranked this year? Are they going to be good? Are they going to be bad? Just Bulls fans, just come here and talk to me. NBA fans in general, let me know what y'all think about the whole situation. Again, hope Lonzo Ball gets better. Hopefully he comes back by the season. We need to see Lonzo Ball play. One of my favorite players in the league. Hope he does good. Hope he gets healthy. And that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I'm going to catch you next video. We out of here. Peace.